What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're feeling good and that you are ready for a recursion challenge. And in this challenge we are going to write a function, a Fibonacci function, a recursive one, that will get some n which represent the index of an element in Fibonacci series and the function should return the associated value to this given n. So write a recursive function that receives as parameter some number n and this n will represent the index of a given element in Fibonacci series. So you find, you get your index and then you find a value in Fibonacci series. And for, for those of you who is not familiar with what Fibonacci series is, let's take a look. So basically the formula, the general formula for Fibonacci series looks like this. So the first element when n equals to zero, when the index is zero, the first element, the value is going to be zero. The next element for n equals to one, when the index equals to one, the value will be one and we can see it right here. And then every next element in this Fibonacci series is going to be calculated as the sum of the two previous elements. So for example, we know that the first element is zero, then we have one, and then we have the, the f for n equals to two, right? We can see the formula if n is greater than one. So f of two equals to f of one, which is one, plus f of zero, which is zero, and it will give us a total of one. And then also in the same way you find what will be the value for n equals to three, which is a, the total of the value of f2 plus the value of f1. So if we take a further look, for example, the series will look like this. So for index zero, for index zero, we'll have the value of zero, right? That's based on the formula here. And for index one, when n equals to one, right? This line is for the index for n. When n equals to one, then the value is also going to be one and we can see it here. And then we know uh, that we found out that f of one is one and f of two will be equal to f1 plus f0. So f1 plus f0 will give us 1 plus 0, which is a total of 1. That's basically the series of Fibonacci. And if we want to find out what will be f3 or f4, we just take the sum of the two previous value for this uh, given uh, value that we want to find out. So f of 3 equals to f of 2 plus f of 1 and we know both of them which is 1 and 1 and the total result will be 2. And for f4 we can see that it will be equals to f3 plus f2 and we know that it's just 2 plus 1 which is a total of 3. And if we wanted to find out what will be f5 it will be just 3 plus 2 which is 5 and so on. You got the idea how to find all the elements uh, in the Fibonacci series. And what you have to do is to write a recursive function, a recursive Fibonacci function that will get some n, some index, and it will find out and return the value at index n. So it if it will receive an index of three, if it will receive n equals to three, then the function is going to return two. And if uh, the function will receive n, for example, five, so the function will return five, right? Because five for index five, um, the value is calculated by the sum of two and three. So this result should not be done uh, or calculated in an iterative approach, but rather it should be done using a recursion. So take your time, think of the solution, and I'll see you in the solutions video. Good luck, guys.